So Joe Holden again was inside that courtroom. We know that he has been able to gauge exactly what happened and the emotion that came out of this verdict. We're going to go to him right now so we can get the very latest. Joe. Yeah, good afternoon to you. It was so dramatic as they announced the verdict. The uh, jury uh, reporter uh, asking them one at a time, how do you find on uh, the first count, the second count, and the third count of aggravated indecent assault? The first time that the forewoman for the jury said guilty, there was a loud gasp in the courtroom. Survivors of uh, Bill Cosby who were seated in the back of the courtroom were uh, crying. And uh, we see Cosby right now leaving courtroom A here at Montgomery County. Let's go ahead and tell you the whole other side of this story. One of the first times that we heard from Bill Cosby was when he yelled at District Attorney Kevin Steele. Kevin Steele was moving to have Bill Cosby's bail revoked, saying that the 10% of $1 million was nowhere near adequate enough to keep who they are now deeming a sexual predator in this county. So what Bill Cosby then lashed out at Kevin Steele because Kevin Steele pointed to the fact Cosby has a private jet. Cosby yelled, he does not have a plain expletive. We can't even tell you what Cosby said, but he slammed something down on the desk. It was hard to see him from where we were seated in the courtroom, but it was the firework moment that really capped uh, a really explosive uh, setting inside courtroom A. Again, there were tears, there were hugs, lots of members of the district attorney's office, uh, just some of the detectives who have worked this case for in excess of 13 years uh, had their hands, their head in their hands, and just were taking in the moment. Uh, I know that we are flipping back and forth between live pictures and cameras up outside of that courtroom, but again, a really explosive development as things unfolded inside the courtroom. The argument between Kevin Steele and Judge Stephen O'Neill was palpable. Both men angry at the other. Judge Stephen O'Neill, to the fact about bail revocation, said, What makes you believe? that this defendant would now flee. His passport has been surrendered. He is going to go back to his residence in Elkins Park. We understand that he will have to submit to electronic monitoring. The judge told Kevin Steele that he is able to file a motion based on fact, not speculation, about why he believes Bill Cosby is now a flight risk. To that question, Steele said he is now convicted. He is now found to be guilty by this jury. I think we estimate the jury deliberated for about 14 hours. They were out for the longest time this morning. They really wanted to get to the heart of Andrea Constant's credibility. Ms. Constant was in the courtroom. Really no reaction from her except the huddles of people around her really taking in that moment. But Constant's credibility was what was on the jury's mind this morning based on their seeking out the testimony of the woman the defense brought in to challenge her credibility from the start. She was Marguerite Jackson. Marguerite Jackson, a former colleague of Andrea Constant's with Temple University, she provided the defense with a claim that Andrea Constant was after money. Well, this jury did not buy that at one bit. And remember the history of all of this. This is the retrial. Andrea Constant's story, really hard to evaluate in the eyes of the jury from Allegheny County last June. Clearly this time around, with Andrea Constant's testimony and the added testimony of the five prior bad act witnesses, it appears that there was, there was really no doubt in this jury's mind that the Commonwealth had surpassed their burden of proving within reasonable doubt with proving that these indecent, aggravated indecent assault charges, three of them should stick. And we've heard uh, conjecture now for the last couple of weeks that a conviction on these charges could put Bill Cosby in jail for the rest of his natural life. Sentencing is still pending. Generally, the window of time is between two and three months for the uh, P uh, sentencing investigation, which is where they go into uh, unlimited detail about all that there is concerning Bill Cosby, his assets, his um, 
where he lives. He maintains numerous residences here in Elkins Park, Massachusetts, Manhattan, California. So all of that is, is taken into the mix. Now, his defense lawyers seem to really, their, their looks, the looks from where we could see, and we were surrounded uh, in front of us by some of uh, the uh, co-counsel, not lead counsel, but co-counsel, they appeared to be incredulous about the district attorney moving or attempting to move to have Bill Cosby's bail revoked uh, in this matter. And again, uh, the district attorney, Kevin Steele, his argument was strenuous that the chapters have changed here. Bill Cosby is no longer presumed innocent in the eyes of the law. Bill Cosby has now been found guilty by a jury of his peers, seven women and five men, and each juror at the uh, conclusion of the proceeding was polled on their verdict in each juror. Uh, it could, could be heard. Yes, this is the this is the conclusion. This is the verdict that we have come uh, into the terms with. Uh, my colleague Anita O oh has been standing out here. Anita, if you could just come over here. You know, we have a sense of what was going on inside the courtroom. But take us through. I mean, the crowd has has built out here from when at lunchtime we were here, and, and it just seems. I mean, it, the, everyone across the street, the, the buildings have just poured out for this.